Good morning, everybody. My name is Hermann Einzeler. I am based in Würzburg and I am the uh, director of the Department of Internal Medicine, too, where we run a large myeloma program. So the, the question I was asked to address uh, this morning is the optimal time to use bispecific antibodies in the treatment of multiple myeloma. Now, bispecific antibodies are really an important new tool to redirect T cells that are potentially um, specific for virus specific, uh, for, for virus infected target cells, to redirect these cells to really recognize and lyse tumor cells. And with this, you can redirect the immune system so that uh, the immune system is really recognizing the myeloma cell and trying to eliminate myeloma cells. Now, because bispecific antibodies are based or, or require a good functionality, good fitness of T cells, I would presume that the earlier we use bispecific antibodies in the treatment of myeloma, the better they will work. And so at the moment, we are mainly treating patients that are uh, refractory to all the conventional treatments. And therefore these patients probably do not have the best T cells. And still they are very effective and in, in the highest dose range of the bispecific antibodies, we see responses, uh, overall response rate around 80% and complete remissions up to 50%. But I guess if we move them earlier, they will be more effective. The question is, whether the toxicity will increase because the more fitter T cells might be also more inducing um, side effects like cytokine release syndrome and neurotoxicity. Uh, but I think that the ongoing trials will actually address these issues.